Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Stephanie's Crafting Corner, where we get together live every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we make something. <laughs> um, but first, we always do a lot of shout outs and things like that. First off, let me just tell you, it is raining in Southern California. Yesterday was very windy and today is very rainy. So that is not good for my baby's birthday party. Uh, let's do some shout outs. The first thing on uh, Facebook, I saw two Debbies right away, Debbie and Deborah. So one from Kansas, one from Pennsylvania. Good afternoon. Hi, Brenda in Louisiana. Hi, Sherry in Ohio. Hi, Jeannie in Michigan. Oh, there was a big ice storm. Oh, yikes. Hi, Jamie Ferris. Hello. Hi, Kimberly in Pennsylvania. Faylene, Faylene, ugh. Faylene is here tonight, so if, she, if I miss your questions, hopefully she will see it. Hi, Russ. Hi, Jill. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Mandy. Uh, hi, Elgars. Hello. Hi, Chris in Illinois. Stephanie, hello. Hi, Betty. Hi, Brenda. And Ellen Cuts Paper, hello. Hi, Melody, my dear. Hi, Mandy and Paulette and Carol and Gloria. Hello, my dear. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Terry. Hi, Susan. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Christy. Oh, I'm not looking on Facebook. Sorry. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kathy. Um, I feel like, you know, romper room. I see Lainey, I see Carol, I see Connie. She never said my name as a child. Never, ever, ever. By the way, Kenny, did you know that Daniel Tiger is a knockoff of Mr. Rogers? No. Because he's all, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, and I go, he's ripping off Mr. Rogers. But Kirsten said that Daniel Tiger is like the new version of Mr. Rogers or something. It's kind of, I don't know. But Daniel Tiger had a baby sister. Oh yeah, we saw that. We watched episode that episode yesterday. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we saw the babies yesterday. Do we normally see the? Yeah, we normally see them on Wednesdays. Uh, let's see. Hi, Rich. Hello in Phoenix. Hello. Oh, Kathy. It's really Kathy. Um, hi, Diana in Idaho. Oh, Diana said hello from Idaho. My husband put his toes in the snow after having his toes in the sand in Oahu. Oh, how fun. It is how fun. fun. That is neat. That's neat. Um, hi, Bonnie Brown. She says she never said my name either. <laughs> Bonnie Brown, I'm saying your name now. Hi, Bonnie Brown. Uh, let's see. Hi, Cynthia. She says it's cold in Tacoma. Hi, Sherry. Oh, broke a record in Nashville. 85 degrees. 85. I am so jealous. Literally, I think it's 51 here. Um, and my fingers are freezing. I have socks on. Last night we went to church. We had um, to gather at church. It's a dinner night. Um, once a month we have dinner, the whole church body. Well, whoever shows up. And uh, I wore two pairs of leggings uh, last night. And I had on what? I had a shirt, a sweater, a jeans jacket, and my heavy coat on. And I was freezing. Let me just tell you, I was freezing. Hi, Tammy in Ohio. Hi, Diane in Massachusetts. Diane is in Florida. Ooh, MPs in Florida. Hi, Elgars. 80, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Hi, Arla. So glad you have craft day. I know. It's fun. It's actually, it's really nice because I was actually busy working on the banner that's not ready yet for the party that's going to happen. And I don't know. It's raining. Hi, Kimberly. Hello. She says, so excited to see the live today. Well, we're excited you're here. Hi, Jeffrey. Hello. Um, and I was told I need to say hi to Rick. Rick, Ken, is that who it was? Rick, I don't know if he watches this episode. He okay. does no makeup Mondays, but so, he could be out there. Apparently, on <laughs> I was at church yesterday going through the little soup kitchen uh, uh, food line, right? And uh, this guy says, I watch your no makeup. I know, first of all, he says, I know who you are. <laughs> And I always, I always hesitate a little when people say yeah. that because I'm like, oh no. Crazy. And he said, I watch your No Makeup Mondays. And I said, okay. <laughs> oh, keep in mind he doesn't craft. That's the whole issue here. And I said, oh. And so he's all, yeah. And his name is Rick. So Rick, if you're watching, hello. I told you you need to say hi on the chat. So I know you're here. Okay, Michelle says, Daniel Tiger is made by the Mr. Rogers Foundation, uh -huh. I think. Thank you. That makes much more sense. Yes, uh, Deborah says, Daniel Tiger. Oh, Daniel Tiger lived in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood of Make Believe. Oh, okay, Deborah. now the whole world is coming together and I'm understanding better. Okay, because I used to watch Mr. Rogers, but he was a little on the slower side for me. I was a little bit more like 
keep it moving, keep it moving. And it got a little slow once in a while when I was little. So, hi, Shirley. Driving to work might just listen. Yes, don't watch <laughs> when you're driving Would you to watch work. Some strawberry shortcake or something like that. I love strawberry shortcake. <laughs> I had a little strawberry shortcake doll, mm -hmm. and she would smell. She smelled like strawberries. Do you have a strawberry small uh, <laughs> strawberry <laughs> shortcake wallpaper or something like that? I did not. I had Holly Hobby. Holly Hobby, yes. Because my mom's name was Holly. Uh, Get it? Get the connection? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, uh, Daniel Tiger is Daniel Tiger from the puppet area. Okay, okay, okay. See, now it's all coming together. But now he's a cartoon yes. that wears a little red jacket. He's so cute. And he had a baby sister yesterday. Well, I mean, the episode we watched, he had a baby sister. Um, Bobby says the Easter basket folded is back in stock. Yes. yes, Bobby, it is. Thank you for the reminder. The Easter basket folded is back in stock for a limited time time so in two weeks do not think you're gonna order it okay I cannot guarantee it will be back in stock in two weeks I know it's in stock right today well you right got the dragons now. back and they lasted about three or four days right yeah the dragon yeah days. the dragons <laughs> lasted about three or four days I did place another I'm order for those order, yeah um but uh so the Easter baskets with the you know all the cool eggs and stuff um is back in stock also the heart a2 size flip it is back in stock. Uh, our gatefold uh, sides uh, panels are back in stock. They We got a huge shipment. Uh, I think it was half yesterday, half today. They were not able to ship yesterday in Utah because they were unable to get to the warehouse yesterday because it was a blizzard in Utah yesterday. That's crazy. So uh, one of our employees emailed, not employees, but um, one of the workers contacted us yesterday and said, it's not safe for us to go to work. And I said, do not go then. <laughs> we will, everyone will gladly wait an extra day. It, we don't want you risking your life to go on the road. So they did not ship yesterday, crazy. Um, let's see, hi Grinilda in rainy Riverside. Yes, it is. The car folded is back in stock. Thank you, Pam. The car folded is back in stock, yes. Um, oh, Christine got her class kit yesterday. Her puppy opened it. Oh, is that good? I don't know if that's good. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, let's see. Hi, Julie. Hello. Um, hi, Deborah. Hello. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if there was any other. So the party is this weekend. Well, it was supposed to be this weekend. It's sort of hard to have a party at a farm because you know farms are outside when it is pouring rain. It is literally, hang on, let me check again. But literally, I, last time I checked, um, hang on, last time I checked, it said, oh, let's do this one. Uh, it said, 100% chance of rain on Saturday. Only 100? Yes, only 100. <laughs> so we have All a chance. All day long or in the morning or afternoon? Uh, or let me look. Much? It, uh, hang on, let me see. Uh, hang on. Uh, rainfall. Uh, you, yeah, pretty much all day. Yep, so, hmm. We don't know what we're gonna do. Any club members local to the Orange County area that would like us to have a party at your house? Uh, we're having about 40 people. Lucky us, uh, 40 people will not fit in my house. 40 people will not fit in Kirsten's house. Um, Kenny, did I tell you mom and dad, uh, it is not the mini A2 heart. That is not, that is not a not thing. It? it is not, the mini A2 heart is not a thing. There's no such thing what as- What is it supposed to be? It's just A2. It's just A2. Mini, mini, mini A2, that makes no sense. You're right. You're right. <laughs> um, yeah, so my mom and dad offered to have it at their house. I have not told Kirsten that yet. What about um, Brandon? I know. He, he likes to host parties. Don't, don't, I, <laughs> I, I have not asked my brother. I'm really holding out on asking my brother because yes, he has the perfect house for a party, <laughs> but that's kind of like extending the whole. You are not knowing your boundaries. Yeah, I need to have boundaries. And my parents offered, my brother has not offered. Now Brandon or Sanchez family, if any of you are watching and you are interested in letting us borrow your house for the party, that would be fantastic. However, that is a boundary I will not pass. I will not cross. Um, I try to keep my boundaries uh, set here. Um, let's see. 
Uh, hi, Stephanie Ken. If you have time, would you please show how to use the shadow dye and sprinkle water dye in the garden bunny to stamp file? Uh, the sprinkle water dye is the only one you would ever use. I have no reason whatsoever to ever use the uh, shadow dye unless you really wanted to highlight those uh, water droplets, but I would never in probably a million years use that shadow dye. It was actually a mistake that you guys got it, but it was easier to leave it in than do anything else. But yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason why you would use it. I mean, I guess you could uh, use it if you wanted to cut it out of acetate and you wanted to cut out the water drops out of acetate and then use the shadow dye to, you know, cut around those and then put it on your card, that would be a reason. Um, let's see, folks are asking if the farm has a barn you could use. Oh, thanks for asking. Um, Full of animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, technically you're not allowed to have parties at the farm. Maybe that's the reason it's not working out. Maybe that is the reason, because technically, so KJ Kirsten called the farm and said, can we have a party at your farm? How much would it be to do that? And they said, we do not allow parties. However, you can come in and have as many people as you want. <laughs> they just said, don't bring alcohol. And we're like, well, it's a three-year-old birthday party. We would never have alcohol. Um, but uh, so they said, yeah, just, you know, don't tell us you're having a party go over there and have it is what they kind of said so technically we're not having our party at the farm we just the invitations happen to say the farm there is no barn there except where the animals sleep so um we uh bethany you need to contact uh Faylene at info at the stamps of life.com she can help you so i'm not quite sure what we can do about that um I don't know. It's not my, it's, it, I'm not going to, I can't worry about it. Um, JB, uh, JB's grandma says, hi, Stephanie and Ken just got my kit and an email that my new order shipped today. Yay. Using her one year club's gift certificate. Yay. Hey, Kenny, there's actually that, that, see that picture, that paper in the printer that um, is printed right now. Can oh. you hand that to me? Thank you, my dear. Because important bulletin. Important bulletin. No. Okay. So our monthly club points for February went out. And I don't think people realize, hey, where's the board? Where's the board? We're getting out the math board. Uh oh, where's the pen? Kenny, where's the pen that goes with the, the <laughs> writing board? Did you steal it? <gasps> did, did you hide? Oh, here it, it is. No, I found I did it. Not touch okay, it. because I want you guys to totally see this. Um, we're going to have to do uh, three. Okay. Okay, so this is club points, okay? So let me write this on here. So club points and i'm gonna say monthly okay because i want you guys to know this this is something we've never really talked about before so if you're in the stamp club every month even if you buy nothing else on my website you get 10 points if you're in the die hard club every month no matter what even if you don't buy anything you get 25 points if you are in the card kit, you get 40 points. Now, if you're in the original gold club, that would equal 65, right? That would equal 65, 40 plus 25. Oh, no, 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 no. If you're a gold club member, you are getting 75 points. So that is gold or rose gold, okay? You are getting 75, so you're getting an extra 10. Okay, just because, because we thought that would be nice. Okay, so then if you are in the Fold It Club, <clears throat> what's that noise? My timer. Okay, if you're in the Fold It Club, you get 25 points. Now, if you're diamond, you would get 25 plus 40 plus 25, 50, so that would be 90 points. You, it should be 90 points if you're in the diamond. But diamond club members should get 90. Diamond should be 90. But instead, they get 200. So they should get 90, but instead they get 200. Okay, so that's if you buy nothing on my website ever, 
ever, ever, ever. So that's kind of cool. We can go back to one. That's kind of cool because, you know, Diamond Club members and Rose Gold, you get it extra. Why? Because we love you. So um, we've never mentioned that before. Um, it's probably a selling point. We just never told anybody about it. So that's kind of cool. <sighs> um, let's see. Um, received, uh, okay, so that, that's, for, I already read that one. Um, Sharon says, wow. Elgar says, wow, I know you guys didn't even know, did you? I know, because it's not something we ever talked about. But when we worked out the, the gold and the diamond, we're like, you know, let's be awesome. And, you know, we give you the discount, we give you flash sales, we give you club points, we give you freebies, we give you anniversary gifts. So then we're like all, okay, let's do this, right? So that's $2 in uh, club points every month extra because we love you. So that, uh, not extra, I'm sorry, two, two, $2 in points should be 90 though. So that's pretty awesome. So um, do I have a sneak peek for the Fold It Club for March? Um, Cause that comes out, does it come out tonight or tonight, tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow. Technically right, it should come out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I have a sneak peek. I'll have to kind of look. Um, awesome, awesome. I know. See, you guys, I, why did we never ever tell anybody that? Because it was funny because I got this email that told me like, okay, points were sent out and here's, here's the numbers. And I'm like, wow, they get 200 points? I don't think anybody knows that. So just a heads up seven up on that. Um, so if you've ever been going, hmm, I don't know if I should be in diamond. Well, we give you extra goodies when you're in diamond because we give you 200 points. So just saying, okay, moving on. Um, where'd that little clip go? I think this clip is broken. It doesn't work, but okay. So that was my math board for the day. I should keep it up here, huh? So you can see it. I think okay. it all made sense this time. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him. Okay. Uh, Don wants me to remind you to like and share. Yes, please. Carol says those points add up pretty fast. Yes, they do, which is really fun, isn't it? I know. Diamond is the best club. Layla, you are the best. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, Krista says, so awesome. Thank you for all the extras. You're welcome. Uh, Julie says, awesome sauce. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you all this just so you guys are like, whoa, you're awesome. You're awesome. I, I, you know, um, but uh, the important thing is, the important thing is I designed our club as something I wanted to be in right? Because remember I told you I was in a club for the baby's Play-Doh thing and they always would offer other stuff, but I never got a discount on anything else that I bought. And I'm like, well, why am I not getting a discount? I, I get the automatic shipments. I should like be special, so you were, right? Yeah, you weren't special because you were I, in the I, club. It wasn't, they didn't, they didn't care. They didn't care that I was in the club and they actually on the automatic shipments, I didn't even get a discount on that. So I finally, I canceled it because I'm like, well, you don't even care if I'm in the club. So it was sad. So whatever. So okay. you could buy just the same thing from them anytime you want at the same price you were paying for as being a subscriber. Pretty yes. Much. Yes. Huh. Hi, Cheris means Grace. She says, I'm new to Stamps of Life. Well, welcome. Hello. That's Karis, I think. Karis. Oh, Karis. Mm -hmm. You know what? My daughter had a friend named Karis. It was spelled a little differently, though. It was spelled without the H, Karis. But hello. I do know that name, actually. Um, but thank you. Welcome. So what we do, Karis, around here is um, every every Thursday at 5 o'clock Pacific, 8 Eastern, I, we get together. It's called Stephanie's Crafting Corner. My name's Stephanie. And we actually make something. But first, we always I always chit-chat because I can never stop the mouth and do shout-outs. And we visit for a couple minutes for a little while. And um, yeah. Um, Jennifer, that's actually in the works. But um, I vetoed something about it the other day, so we're working on that still. Um, Veto? So, like one of those big stamps? <laughs> Veto? Um, pretty much, yeah, because I'm like, no, go back, because that is way too expensive. I'm not charging that much. That's uh -huh. the honest truth. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not going to charge that much, because you know what? I wouldn't buy it at that price, so I'm like, I would never ask you guys nice. to buy it at a price I wouldn't pay. So I was like, no. So that's what happened. Okay, um, let's see. Jeannie says, Karis, welcome. Um, be aware, it's very addicting. Yes, it is, actually. It kind of is, but it's fun. Okay. Um, 
Uh, Barbara says extra points means thank you for the MIDI machine. Oh, did you get the MIDI machine? Oh, love that machine. Okay, so moving on, I do, we're gonna work on the coffee pot today because I've had a lot of requests to show the coffee pot, fold it. And I'm also going to incorporate it onto the Deckle Edge banner that you get. Any of my Fold It Club members have the Deckle Edge banner. You got it free, something's in my eye. And uh, apparently it, it causes concern. People don't understand uh, the method to my madness in my brain. So I need to explain it better. Um, do anniversary gift cards expire if not used in a year? No, Diane, they do not, because that would not be fair. And we are always fair, as fair as possible, of course. So, no, they do not expire. They're good till we go out of business? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> right? I guess so. Luckily, that won't happen anytime soon. Don't worry. It's not on now you're scaring Faileen and every, all the employees watching, they're going, wait, what? Everybody's all, I better go catch yeah. those really quick. No. no, no, no. Ah, uh, that was funny. Um... Carrie says, I'm, uh, thanks for the well, warm welcomes, excited to learn more. I'm glad you jumped in and said hello to everybody. So if you guys are, if anyone's new watching, please jump in and just say, hey, I'm new here, or, or hey, you know, what is all this, or anything. Just jump in and say hi, because we always like to hear from new people. Um, in fact, somebody said they were on YouTube the other day, another person from church, and he said, yeah, I was on YouTube, and all of a sudden it popped up saying the Stamps of Life is live. Who was that? Jordan. Jordan from yeah. Wachert. So yeah, because all of a sudden, it'll, if you're live, they'll just, YouTube will just say, hey, these people are live, do you wanna watch? Mm -hmm. And that's sometimes how we get spammers, but sometimes how we get new people. So, okay, moving on. Did you tell them about our event tomorrow night? Yes, no, I didn't. Tomorrow night is a release night, but we are doing it live. Why? We thought it would be fun. No other reason. It's not a special release. It is a normal release night. We're having it tomorrow night live. So we're same time, same place right here. Uh, five o'clock Pacific, eight Eastern. Why? Because we can. We just thought it would be fun. Hang out on Friday night. Hang out on Friday night. I have nothing else to do. That's Bring what it is. your favorite drinks. Yeah. Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are there more newbies? Us. Darlene always says she's a newbie. Darlene, mm -hmm. you are just the funniest thing. I think she um, can trick us. Uh, Susan says, I am nine years new. <laughs> okay, um, I do have a short little video. Um, are you ready on the video? Yes. And you, am I gonna be able to hear the audio too? Mm, no, because we don't have the line run over to you. Okay, because it's like really funny. Okay, Did anyway. you want me to run the line to you? It just Could you? Take a, Could it take you a second? Because it's going to take me a minute to explain the video. Yeah. So the other day we were at the baby's house on Saturday. Every Saturday night we babysit um, so uh, mommy and daddy can go out to dinner. And uh, it's date night for mommy and daddy. And uh, Ken was playing hide and go seek with the boys. And they're learning about hide and go seek. So they're not three yet. They're learning about hide and go seek. And so I caught it on video. The funny thing about video with the babies is, and I'll be calling them the babies when they're 17, by the way, there's just nothing I can do. But uh, the, some, one thing about, the, the, about video or photos, if they see you have your phone out and you're on them, they will like literally stop what they're doing and turn away because they're just like camera shy or whatever. So they won't like, keep doing what they're doing. So I literally am just like holding my phone down here and I'm just like walking around the house pretending I'm not doing anything following them. So um, the video is kind of not perfect, but it's because um, I wanted to catch this moment. And uh, it's so funny because the second it happened, I literally texted it to my parents and um, it was just crazy because it's adorable. So um, are you good or are we needing a minute? Almost there. Almost there, okay. Um, so I, I wanna be able to hear it too. Uh, so it's, it's about a minute long, so if you don't wanna see the kids, go potty real quick or something. Um, oh, good job. Okay, so I'm gonna listen to you because it's funny. I wanna watch it again. I think I, can, I think I'll hear it. What? I think you can hear it. Okay, if not, I'll okay. survive. Okay, so are you gonna be able so to play it? Um, so oh, really quick, the blonde hair, they're twins. Almost three, next week they'll be three. Uh, they're miracles, they weren't supposed to be born. Uh, the doctor said Kirsten would never get pregnant on her own. If you haven't heard that story, you gotta go listen to it because it's amazing. It's a God story, it's amazing. But, it's part of my testimony. But, the, the blonde haired, blonde haired, blue eyed one with glasses is Miller. He's the younger one. 
I think they're 16 minutes apart. And then Liam is the brown hair, brown eyed one, and he is the older one. And so they're both on video with, with Gaga, also known as Grandpa. Okay, go ahead. You got it? Whoops. Oh, I one. can hear myself talking. Yeah. You can? Yeah. yeah. So that means you should hear everything. Okay, are you gonna hit play? Um, yep. Here we go. You hear it? Nope. Nope. No. Oh, there we go. Yeah? More. Turn it up. <laughs> Way more. Wait, what? Elvie over Gaga. But Nick, you know Gaga is. I don't know, he's hiding. Hey! <laughs> What? Oh, look at those feet. goodness I love them so much you guys you guys are gonna see videos of those kids when they get married I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah it was cute uh, Liam thought Gaga left they were literally going around the house for for a while looking for him and he put up the nugget so they couldn't see behind it so um, yeah so that was um, that was it that was my video for my babies um, let's see uh, let's see um, okay uh, I received my birthday cards from the fan club. Oh, happy birthday, Grinelda. They are so cute, April said. Thank you, Janet says, cute. Uh, I know, you know, they're just so sweet. It was cute how Miller knew where Gaga was, also known as Grandpa Gaga. He knew where Gaga was, but he wasn't gonna go by himself, so he made brother go get, go get him and check him out. So, um, yeah, totally adore them, love them so much. Um, okay, um, Barbara says, love these videos, pics, and updates. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I, I feel like you guys all have been around since, a lot of you have been around since the beginning when, you know, she was in it, Kirsten was in and out of the hospital, and they she, they were ended up being born seven weeks early, and, you know, they were in the NICU for five, four weeks and five weeks. So I, I just feel like we've all kind of, we know we all know them since the beginning so that's grown just old together we've grown old together <laughs> with the babies yes let me tell you that's uh, Susan says that's the best video ever thank you guys I appreciate it thanks for so much um, love seeing the babies thank you Linda yeah we have fun okay so we are gonna make a card and actually a banner um, hang on I got to get some chapstick uh, thank you Margo Margo gave me this one so Mm, oh, okay, so we're gonna use the coffee pot because there has been a lot of requests for the coffee pot. And um, I was gonna do it out of twig, dark, this brown, but unfortunately, this is the only twig I had in the house. So we're gonna go to dark brown. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the two main dyes and then there's an optional die. And oh, by the way, burlap. Da! Kenny brought me a new one from the office because I did hooks. not find the one around here is still missing. And I was using it while Ken was sleeping, so I couldn't really clean it. My dog's like freaking out. Okay, but I stopped to clean it. But I've been using it like crazy. Okay, so what we're gonna do first on a fold it is are you taping on three, by the mm, way? Got it. Awesome. So we're gonna grab some uh, ginger snap. Let me get some more uh, chocolate too, because I think I'm gonna need that. Okay, so we're gonna take this. We are going to take our ginger snap. We're gonna fold it in half. And there we go. And let's do this. There we go. Okay, fold it in half. And up at the top, it says place fold here. Now I know really on camera, you're not gonna be able to see it very well, but it does say place fold here, or you can place it on the side. I highly, highly, highly recommend placing it on the top 99% of the time. I just feel like it makes it a stronger card. Now. Because it kind of goes, it dips here, anytime there's not very much on the top, because it just depends on what the design is, um, I recommend you kind of go inside all of those pieces. It's really not gonna affect your card in any way, but it just gives you um, an easier uh, fold line. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tear that, I mean, put that uh, tape down. And then I'm gonna grab my 
MIDI machine. Oh, I need a folder. And I'm just gonna grab a folder and my MIDI machine and I'm gonna lay that down just like that and I'm gonna run it through. So this will make an A2 size card. This is making the base. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so now we have the base. Now, of course, you'll say first right off the bat, right? You're going to say, oh, wow, that looks ugly. Oh, and that didn't even do very well on that piece right there. I should have gone even further down. Um, but we have most of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get that color again. We're going to get the exact same color again. And we're going to die cut it normally. Okay? So we're just going to die cut it like a normal die, right? La, la, la. Just like that. We're going to turn it like that. And we're going to trim our paper down. Okay, so we're just gonna run that through just like that, normal. Whoops, stay on the cardstock though, my dear. Okay, so we're gonna run that through. Let's see, Sherry, you're just coming in. Well, I'm glad you're here. Beatrice is late too, it's okay. You missed the baby video though, so you'll have to go back and watch the replay, but it's kind of worth it, I think. Okay, so getting rid of the scraps. I keep this piece, of course, right? But getting rid of that one. So now what we have here, my dears, is we're gonna lay this right on top, right there, right? So now we're gonna get rid of that ugly fold and we're gonna get some adhesive, but I was, oh, there it is. I was using my adhesive earlier. I was actually getting to craft today. It was so wonderful. Um, I don't always get to, um, You'd think, you know, owning a stamp company, I get to make cards all day long, right? Not even close. Most of the time I'm looking at spreadsheets and putting out fires. I always say putting out fires or starting fires. <laughs> Answer emails. <laughs> Answer emails, 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 yeah. emails. So there we go, there's our fold. Let's get that, there we go. You know what, I'm not even liking that, so I'm just gonna peel that piece off. Peel that piece off right there, okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, so there's our fold right there, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do the card base. And I am going, I'm sorry, the decorations. So I'm gonna take the solid die with my darker color, I'm taking the whole solid die, and I am going to run that through normal, okay? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add adhesive to the back just to make my life easier. So I'm gonna take some adhesive, I'm gonna peel this back, and I'm going to add this right there. And then I am going to, something crazy that happened today, I got a text saying that I had a reservation at a place for dinner. And I'm like, uh, what? Ken had, Ken had an appointment today and he made reservations at a place he wanted to go for dinner and I didn't even know. And for some reason it sent me the, what did it do? It sent me the, the text, the, and the confirmation yeah. that he made a reservation. So I'm like, oh, I guess I'm going to dinner tonight. So that was a nice surprise. Um, let's see, has the has this folded been mailed out? No, nope. This is this is not. This is an old one that's been out about a year on the a yearish or so. This is not. This is not in the folded club. This is on the website right now. Okay, so here we have the card base, right? This is the card base. I'm sorry, the card decorations. And then what we're gonna do is this part, I always think of the top as orange. Um, I know that has to do with if it was, um, if it's, uh, what is it? If it's orange, Kenny, what does that mean? It's decaffeinated? The no, I don't know, actually. I well, don't you used to work in a restaurant for 100 years. Your parents yes, owned a restaurant. Now that you say that, yeah. I yeah, orange, orange means that it's brown decaffeinated. Brown was was just regular, regular yeah. coffee, so orange. So I'm doing it's, orange just because it looks better. I have dreams about old jobs, but I know. I've had a restaurant one for a long yeah. time. He one time he said in the middle in in the in during while he was sleeping, he said toast biscuit or English muffin while he was sleeping. <laughs> What'd you ask for? <laughs> I don't remember. I was like laughing the whole time. It was hilarious. Yep. Okay, so I made the um, little orange part the top of it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some acetate because I wanna make this a little bit more exciting. So I'm gonna use some acetate, just a um, piece of acetate. And unfortunately, I should have done this with, um, let's find some scratch paper. When I die cutted the brown, when I die cut the brown, I should have done this. I didn't think to do it. So what I'm gonna do, you have to have cardstock when you die cut acetate. It just makes it a better die cut if you do that. So I'm just gonna lay this down. I do not need the whole coffee pot. I just need about that much. 
Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down. I'm not gonna use the white, that's just my scratch paper to make sure that my dye cuts through the, uh, cuts through the acetate. So I'm gonna run that through. Acetate is a weird thing to die cut. It does work, but just for kicks, Crunchy. I like to go twice. Yeah, it's just, it's cause it's like, kind of like, it almost bends when you die cut it. Not really, does that make sense? Oh, I lost my orange. It doesn't bend, but it's just an interesting thing to make that die blade go through. Okay, so here we go. See, even still it had like a couple of spots. The good news is we don't need any of that. So the white is just extra. We're not really using that. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so we have this piece here. We only need up to about like right here. So I'm just gonna trim it to make my life easier. Okay, so I have this piece right here, right? Okay, so let's first go ahead and put this baby together. And what, well, um, let's see, let's not do that yet. Hang on, let me trim this first because I know I'm gonna trim this. So I'm gonna trim this. Can I do my poll question? Stephanie? Sure, All right. that's now's a good time. This is just for fun, guys. We have to fill in the time while Stephanie crafts. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, can I say something really <laughs> yeah. quick? Okay, so there's two different ways to do this. Number one is you, well, there's probably more than two, but whatever. Okay, you could do it just like this and be done, right? There's your coffee pot. And we're gonna have, we, there's a die in here that says, but first coffee, that's what we're gonna use. And you could literally just put that on there and call it a day, right? I'm gonna do it a little bit more because I like to do more. Um, so you could just do it just like this, right? I'm gonna do it different. And what I like to do is I'm going to use this piece right here. And ooh, look at that, it fits on the extra piece. So I'm gonna die cut this. Now, this part is optional. Kenny, what did I just say? Optional. This part is what? Optional. Thank you, Yay! good job, brother. Okay, oh, I, I say brother. brother when I talk to the babies. <laughs> uh, good job. Okay, so I'm just gonna run that through really quick. Same color as my coffee. This is like, I think the main thing that's holding everybody up, otherwise I would let you do your chat, your thing. Ken, sorry. Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just no trying to deal. teach them how to craft instead of how many I'm, eggs are in a 12 I'm dozen. Not, I'm not heartbroken or anything. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you're just going to cry yourself to sleep now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down. I'm, I'm using the light brown below me, just the, the shadow so you can see it. And I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to kind of guesstimate. And what I do is I go all the way to the edge. And so you can see, I, oh, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm lining up this point here to the edge of my dark brown, this point here to the edge of my dark brown. That's where I'm going to trim, okay? So um, I could just hold it up. Ideally, it's best if you trim it straight. I seldom trim it straight, but um, whatever. So I'm just gonna literally take my scissors and trim it, okay? So now I'm going to lay this down and I'm gonna lay this down so it looks like there's like half, like it's, there's only half of the coffee in here, right? Now, why did I do this? A couple reasons. One, because you know, when you look at a pot of coffee, it has the ring around it, you know, like the top layer of the coffee. So it's like, you're not looking straight on at it. If you want to look at it straight on, you literally could just do that. Put the acetate on top, boom, you're done. Perfect, right? cut it a little straighter than I did. But you could also do it that way, right? So it could be full, it could be like this, you could do just a little tiny bit at the bottom, you could do like a wavy die or a scallop die at the bottom to show that there's just only a little tiny bit there. I added this die in so you could lay it on there so the, the, the um, perception of it is not straight on, it's more like you're holding the coffee pot here and you can see the, the top layer of the coffee. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope it does, because, okay. So now, okay, well, if you leave it on here, you can do your poll. All right, at the poll, yeah, everybody's been waiting for, how many eggs does the average American eat each year? How did I know I had to do with eggs? <laughs> well, we were talking about Easter basket, so I think oh, that's okay. how we got So what eggs. was the question yes. again? How many eggs does the average American eat each year? Each year. It can be 24, 77, 126 or 281. Wait, how many dozen? No, how many eggs? Oh, how many eggs a yes. year? Oh, it's got to be a lot. I, well, if you count like what's in cakes and stuff. What's your guess? 24? No. 77? No. 126 or 281? 281. 281. Stephanie says 281. You, uh, honey, I need you to stay on three. Yes. 
Okay. So put your guesses in there, everybody. So I'm laying that down. I'm going to then lay my coffee sheet or my coffee round on it. Now, again, I could just leave it like this, right? Well, I would straighten it. <laughs> I could just leave it like that. I am going to add this, right? Okay, then I'm gonna add the clear on top. So, okay. So what are people guessing or are they not guessing yet? Um, nope. Let's see, I'm on the wrong page there. I guess they say a lot. A lot? 126, I see a lot of 126. A lot of 127. There's some 281s. Nobody's guessing 24. Nobody's guessing 24. No, because no, everybody eats more than two <laughs> dozen. A year? No, I probably eat 24 eggs a month. If you count like I when know. I eat brownies and cookies, there's- I know you're an egg lover, but not everybody loves eggs, so, you know. Okay, now just to tack this down, so I put the adhesive there because I'm gonna cover that, right? I'm gonna cover that spot, but because I don't want this to be flapping in the wind, right? Because eventually if I don't adhere it all the way, it's just gonna flap. So I will adhere it a little tiny bit, but I don't wanna adhere it too much, so I'm just gonna kinda like do it here at the bottom because sometimes the adhesive will show through on, on acetate. So I'm just gonna add, I think this one, oh, it's dead. Of course it's dead. Uh, okay. okay, so I'm going to add just a little tiny bit under the adhesive. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to pin pinch that down. Now, you really can't see it. Like, Will this look. hold water or actual coffee? Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. I'm not that good, baby. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to we're going to peel this up. So this is decaffeinated, which, first of all, I don't drink coffee, but if I did drink coffee, there's no way on earth I would drink decaffeinated. Drink for the caffeine, right? I drink anything for caffeine. So I'm gonna lay this down. Now it's gonna cover up this part of this acetate, right? So I'm just gonna lay that down. There we go, there we go. Now to finish this off, look how cute that is. Now to finish this off, I am going to get my butt first coffee. And since I do have orange there, we'll go ahead and grab that. Let's use the light brown. The tw it's really twig. Uh, let's get some adhesive sheets. Uh, there we go. So we're just gonna add some adhesive sheets on here. I'm just gonna kind of grab like half. I only need it really to cover this spot because I'm gonna use this as a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to add um, the, right there. Trim that, trim that, trim that. Okay, now I can use my but first coffee. And then I'm gonna just take the orange to do the sh You know what? Ooh, let's not even do the orange because I really don't wanna bring in more orange. So let's just do it like this. So we're just gonna do it in twig and we're gonna run this through. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're gonna run that through. So, has anybody offered up their house yet for our for our party, Ken? No, I haven't seen any volunteers <laughs> for that. <laughs> okay, so now here I have, but first coffee. Now I'm looking at that going, hmm, that really does not show up as well as I thought it would. So, okay, fine. We'll go for it and we will use the shadow dye in orange. Okay, I'm gonna end the poll. The actual answer is, 281 or whatever it was. Stephanie says 281. Yes, Stephanie, you're right. Of course I was right on that one. Stephanie. Yeah. But guess what the top guess was? What? 126. Oh, interesting. Let's check this. So sometimes I'll even do this. I'll go, uh, okay, whoa, that is like, I honestly feel like that is way too bright because now you can't even see the, the words, right? So let's get some scrap because you know you want to be happy. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to do it in light brown and see what that looks like, right? Because you never know. You want to be happy with what you're doing. And so now I'm just grabbing this and let's see what that looks like. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, much better. Okay, so originally my thought was this, no. Then my thought was this, too much orange. 
And then I tried this and that is boom, there it is, right? You can just tell just by how you can see it. You couldn't see it over here on the dark. You can, it's way too bright on the orange. And then right there, it's just just right. Just right, okay, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to gently start with one letter, the B. There we go, we're gonna add this. Oh, it's a little too high, pull it up, try it again. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna do our my contest in just a second once we, did you close the poll? I did. Oh, good. Okay, so there we go. But first, coffee, look at that. Now, just for fun and because it makes Kenny happy, we're gonna use a foam square. Ken has a thing for foam squares, don't you? Yeah, it makes the card look much more exciting. Yes. Not so flat. And flat. you talk about this all the time. Yes, it makes a big difference. It does. It um, does, really. A few and seconds you know what? I had the same problem with this. It makes a big this. difference. It does. Let me get and one. Also, sparkly things. Sparkle? Oh, yeah, you like yeah. sparkly things. I don't personally like sparkly things, but on cards, yes. Sparkly things. Yes, you're very opinionated <laughs> when it comes to cards. <laughs> Have you noticed that? I am. That's interesting to me. <laughs> because some I, I just want to see you do some, make some. Then I, uh, you're allowed to have any opinion you want. Because some cards I go, wow, and some cards I just go, mm. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, they can't see it. Oh. Okay, are you doing it or you want me to? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, so there it is. Now, remember that orange that I die cut and decided not to use? It is going back in here because maybe next time I want to use this die, I will need it, right? So I'm going to save it. I'm not throwing it away. I'm keeping it. There's no mistakes, and you want to make sure you have that. So then I'm keeping all of this together. Um, I'm just showing you this because I like people to see that I do try to organize once in a while, and I do try to keep these things together. I've been getting better about this, in fact. Good job. I know, I Except really am. Except for that burlap you've been on. Really. Oh my word, yeah. I don't know what happened. But yeah. it is literally right here. I'm going to like attach it to my hip or something. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Oh, there's another. Oh, see, I did another acetate earlier, so I'm just going to put that in there also because I will use that. Oh, Mr. Dye, going to grab that, put that in there. Okay, so there's our coffee, um, our coffee pot. There we go, but first coffee. I can write my message in there. Oh, I need to finish it off by adding my, oh, I got a new one, you guys. I got a new one. So this is a personalized stamp. Yes, we make personalized stamps on our website. And this one says, are you ready for this? I made this card just for you. You mean so much to me. You are worth the five hours it took to make it. Ha ha ha. But as we know, it did not take five hours. Ha. But I thought that was funny. Okay, so there we go. There's our card, but first coffee. I love the acetate, you guys. I feel like the acetate really, really um, makes it all make sense um, because it just kind of like, just, whoops, there we go. Um, it just uh, kind of makes it like go, you're like, oh, okay. Also, here's another piece that I die cut that has adhesive on the back. It's going right into the coffee envelope. So maybe, and actually this one, has it, but I had it cut out, but it's die cut. It's going in there too, because you don't know, maybe next time I need that color, right? So always try to save them just because there's no sense in, in not, because what if you need them? Now, that being said, there have also been questions lately, and um, I'll be honest, I, um, I'm tired of trying to look for the video that I did this already in, so we're gonna do it again. Yes. <laughs> I they just, wore you down. What? They wore you down. Yeah, no, seriously, seriously. Okay, so this is, hey, do you think you could take that banner down, so that, the one I, I'm working on, so they really? could see it? No, seriously, you just pull it off the thing and pull it off the thing. So here is the banner that I'm working on for the babies. This is the birthday version, birthday one. Um, because I, I, it kind of goes with what I'm doing here, that's why. Are you connected? Okay, okay, so there, yeah, grab that. Jill says, love this card, thank you. Um, I do not like coffee, but cute card, Vicky. <laughs> Me too, see, and that's the cool thing is, you know, it's not necessarily about what we like, it's what the people we're giving it to like, right? I mean, I think every single friend I have loves coffee, so that'd be perfect for them. Oh good, Shirley said that she um, she's home, so yay. I mean, she, she got to work safe. Okay, so here is my banner so far. 
Um, keep in mind it's for a baby's birthday, so it's not like fancy wancy, you know what I mean? So uh, the alphabet is a sneak peek. I did get my burlap die on there, um, but I want to show you, hang on, I'm gonna swing it around. I added felt, hang on, let me do three so I can show you. So, whoops. It's not doing it. I hit uh, three twice. Three? Yeah. Okay. okay, there. Okay, so, whoops, not right, not that one. Okay, so what I did was I added some burlap in just random spots, right? Um, the background. This is a dye, you guys. This is a dye that you really need to burnish on because you want it to be able to touch the cardstock behind it so it sticks. Okay, but um, so there's the some of the letters. I, I inked these and I left some of the pieces in there just because it's supposed to be more rustic. I also, just for fun um, and spacing, I just made strips of our felt and I tied it so to keep it all kind of in, you know, together. Now, on this banner, let me show you uh, banners. On this banner normally, there are these slits. When I first designed the banners, I made these little slits, right? That you could put the ribbon through. And I decided, you know, years later that I don't like that anymore. So I came out with a die, one of them, and also the fold it die that looks like this. Okay. So what we did here is we trimmed off when we die cut these, we trimmed off these little pieces because they're ir irrelevant to us for this banner. And we die cut the circles to have the, it's just stronger this way when you do it this way. It's a stronger banner. So, and you can see Katie cut it so it's not like exactly perfect. But um, it's the banner is stronger when you hang it using these circles or this ribbon one. Now let me show you how to use this so it makes sense. Failing, keep this video handy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we are gonna die cut this. And because Stephanie is a pink girl, she's gonna use some pink. Now, I also wanna show you guys a trick, okay? So, oh, that's not gonna work. Um, so, here's my trick. Uh, let's get another color. Okay. It comes with lots of layers, right? You get lots of layers. The first layer, let's do in purple. So we're just gonna lay this down and we're gonna run this through. If I was just gonna do one, if I was just gonna only, I wasn't gonna layer it at all, I would go ahead and I would tape this down and I actually, usually what I do is, and here, I'll do it with this one. You can use washi, whatever you're going to Tape this down just like that. Attach it to the die so if you have to cut out 10, now you can move this over and cut out more, 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 right? But I'm gonna layer this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna hope it goes through my midi. I don't know if it does. Ooh, it's really close. Let's try. Let's try, it's worth it. It's worth trying. Okay, so whoops, we're going to trim this down. Kenny, if you see any questions about this, yell them out, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna hope this really fits in there. And I'm gonna run this through, okay? Now there's a lot of speed bumps going on here, but hopefully we get this to work. This is the largest die. Now, the only way you can get this banner is if you're in the Fold It Club. So when you join the Fold It Club for the first time, you get this banner. Okay, boom, there it is. That's the Decalage banner, see that? Isn't that a gorgeous edge? You can see it better there. Perfect. Okay, so that's one. Now, the next layer I'm going to do is this one. And I'm gonna find the middle layer and I'm gonna die cut this, right? I'm gonna die cut this. So let's go ahead and do that because I wanna tell you something. And this is your free gift. This is the free that. gift if you- if you, you get, this is the free gift. Right, right, this is the free gift. You cannot buy this, it's a free gift when you join the Folded Club. Okay, so now it's a $26.99 value. Now what I'm doing is I am die cutting the next layer. La, 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 right? Okay, last but not least, I think you kind of get the idea. I'm gonna take the smallest one and I am going to die cut that. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna die cut this one, okay? Now. 
What if, oh, hang on, I'll show, I'll show it up for a second because I want you to see this. Okay, so run that through. So now I have three layering banners, right? Okay, one, two, three. <clears throat> Put these out of the way so we can see. Okay, so here's our three banners. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Now, what if I wanted a smaller banner? I could take this, I could die cut this with this or with the circles, and I could make this my banner, right? Without layers. You'll notice on mine, when I, because I wanted a simple banner, I did not use any of the layering dies that come with it. I did not. I chose not to. Now, if I wanted this gorgeous, gorgeous color, oh, princess, look at that. Doesn't that call for princess? Oh, hang on. Can I reach my unicorn hat? Oh, I can't reach my unicorn hat. I have a unicorn hat. Okay, perfect. Oh, I can't see it. Okay, so perfect, right? Look how gorgeous that is. Now, one thing I need you to know is this is a lot of paper. This is taking up a lot of paper, right? Cardstock. So if no one is gonna see the back, you can do this technique I'm gonna show you. But for sure, no one's gonna see this piece, right? So what I'm gonna do, because this is in the middle, what I'm gonna do, because Stephanie is cheap, 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 I am going to grab one of my dies. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm gonna grab this die. Doesn't matter, you can use a regular square. I don't care what one you use. But you wanna get some of that cardstock out of there to use for something else, right? Why on earth would you cover all that gorgeous cardstock and waste it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this through. Right, run that through. And now I have this for another time. It can, at the very worst, it can go in my scrap pile, right? But now I'm gonna still layer this, layer this. You'll never know in a million years that I just did that. Now, if no one, if you're gonna put this against the wall and no one's gonna see it, oh my goodness gracious, you better add, you better cut another one out if no one's gonna see the back, if you're putting it against the wall. If you're gonna hang it in the middle of the room, don't do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna adhere these. La la la, we're gonna add adhesive. Do not use adhesive sheets for these, you guys, because you'll just be wasting your adhesive sheets. Okay, dun 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 dun. So this is the die you get free if you join the Fold It Club. And you cannot buy this die. Okay, so I'm laying this down. Okay, so keep in mind, this car, this cutout was like free technically, right? Because, you know, no one's ever gonna know in a million years. Oh my gosh, this is so unicorn, I can't believe it. Okay, so we're gonna add this. It needs some sparkles. Yes, it does, my, oh, I ran out of another <laughs> one? How in the world? Wow. I know, you can tell I've been crafting and lately, I love it. All your, okay. You're gonna run out of adhesive tonight. I know. Okay, so now look at this, you guys. Dun, 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 dun. There is my banner. Okay, now, what Sherry says, that's using your brain, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Actually, technically, technically, Sherry, it's not using my brain necessarily, it's just because I'm cheap. Gotta save money wherever you can, right? Because imagine, it. because keep in mind, if you're gonna say birthday, how many of these pieces are you gonna get? Now, you don't have to use a scalloped one, use a deckled edge one, use the square one, I mean, use the straight edge one, use blah, 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 whatever, it doesn't Does matter. Does that cutout happen to be like an A2? This is an size? A2 card front, ah, that's what right I was here. Free, technically, because Free. look. Wow. I know, it's awesome. Okay, 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 okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna die cut these little circles. So I have all three of my layers and now I say, okay, I'm gonna have to put my letter here, but I wanna hang this, right? Well, there's nowhere to, nowhere to hang it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little circles, I'm gonna lay this down where, I don't care where you put the circles, you could put them way up here, you could put it down here. I like to just do like, like right, okay, fine, right there, okay? Just lay it down and you're gonna run it through. Now, keep in mind, I am going through three pieces of cardstock. I will just jump over to my Spellbinders. It is a stronger machine than the MIDI. It is a stronger machine. I have three layers of cardstock in here, you guys. So I'm, and plus some adhesive, right? So I'm just gonna run this through right there. 
I did, I did it back just because it's faster. Okay, ready? Here we go. Lifting up. Oh, and that washi's still pretty strong. Oh, be nice washi, be nice washi, be nice washi, be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. It's a little strong. What's it do, it just really pushes? Well, yeah, because you're doing a thousand pounds of pressure from your die cut machine, and it's like, it's telling that washi tape you are staying there. Washing into the paper. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, but there you go. Boom. Now you're saying, oh, it leaves that imprint. Oh, I'm gonna die. I can't handle it. That's a horrible. Oh, please. You guys look. You're covering it with ribbon. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, boom. There we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your ribbon. And because I am learning to organize, look at that, you guys. Um, I am going to get, actually, all of my pure, all my pinks and purples are in the other one. So we're gonna grab this one. And we are going to use purple because we can. And... Because we have a lot of it. Yeah, I have a lot <laughs> of it. No, this one just has, has half a roll, so. And then we are just going to do this and do this and then there dun, 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 dun. let's do two or one that is two or one or nothing or are you just going to ignore me the rest of the night I'm or sorry. are we still married <laughs> you it or still. <laughs> are we just okay thank you okay so there we go there we go that's it easy peasy yes failing ha said instead of die cutting out a letter. I could actually, look at that, you guys, I could put it right on top. You could die cut your alphabet back there too. So if you were gonna use, if you were gonna say hi or whatever, you could put die cut your letters out of that or die cut your letters out of here, whatever. But yeah, look at that, you guys. Now, I designed these banners. So an A2 size card, there's always a method to the madness, you guys. There's reasons I do all this weird crap, okay? But look, now, an A2 size card base fits on the banner. So any fold it you have, you guys, any fold that you have. Now, when it's low, when it's um, when it's uh, horizontal, it's it barely fits, right? Because I had to focus on this. We don't want to go too wide, otherwise we're in trouble. But any that is, oh look, here's a cute one. Here is the little watering can fits on there. Okay. Um, let me see what other ones I have right here handy. Uh, I don't know if I have any more handy. Oh, I usually have a couple. Hang on. Maybe we might find a little sneak or something in here. Um, ooh, this one. Well, that one doesn't. Kenny, do you, uh, you know what? I think it's right. Is it right here? Is there, yeah. a, is there a bucket right there on that chair? This one? Uh, what's in it? Is that barn stuff? No, that's not going to work. Uh, la, 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 la. I was actually going to show the, um, oh well. Nope, we got nothing. Okay, bummer, I usually have like a couple cards right here. Uh, you just need a card? Well, I, I wanted a- There's some in this um, Tiffany thing right here. Oh, are there any folded? There should be, right? Uh, probably, probably there's not, not gonna since be. you want one. Just because I want one, there's not gonna the be. Place. No. I guess not. Oh, well, I got to give up. Okay. Ooh, well, okay. But they fit perfect right here. I was just going to you find one. Oh, oh my gosh. It almost matches too. Look at this. What? I know. Is that perfect? Good, good choice, Kenny. So look at that, you guys. They fit. So mostly the vertical fit the best, but look how cute that is. Now you could totally do your banner and there you go. And free if you join the Foldit Club. Foldit Club comes out tomorrow. Okay, questions time. Oh, really quick, we gotta do our chat contest. Okay, chat contest, no, 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 Everybody can enter you, uh, everybody can enter for a chance to win a $10 gift certificate to my website. $10? Yes, $10 okay. gift certificate to the website. I'm keeping this in my banner envelope. I keep all of my big banners in one big envelope just because it makes it easier for me to find them. You can also mix and match different shapes when you make a banner. Um, so my question for you today in the chat contest for a chance to win is, and I'm doing this on purpose because I'm working on something and I need a filler for it. If you could have any words in a die phrase, so like if you wanted to say, but first coffee as a die, not a stamp, so it can't say happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear short. Stephanie. It has to be shorter. What 
phrase would you like to see in die format? Just like that, but first coffee. What phrase would you like to see? Now, happy birthday, come on, I already have that. So they try to think outside the box. If you can't think outside of the box, you can say happy birthday, but come on, now's your chance to get some ideas out there. Um, I'm sure my competitors are gonna love everything you have to say, because <laughs> we know they're watching, but. Um, they're watching. Yes. Uh, always. Uh, so please, anything you want that will enter you to win. Um, Grinelda says, wow, thank you, Stephanie. I'm going to start creating a banner for our Pathfinders Club to display pictures of the children doing honors and activities. Love your ideas. Awesome. Grinelda, you can also use our dies to die cut the photos too. So if you want to do the photos like all, so they're all the same size, you can find a shape and do like the square or something or whatever. But yeah, definitely. How many winners are we picking tonight? Three, three, three. winners. So any phrase you want, and I'm going to have Katie go through all of the chat and add and write them all down so we have them. So, yes. Katie's gonna have her work cut out for she her She is, tonight. you are making, you are making uh -huh. some work for her. Yes. So please enter whatever you want. If you have no ideas, just say happy birthday and that will enter you to win. Everybody has a chance to win. A $10 gift certificate to the website. Um, let's see, hey honey, oh that's cute. But first sleep, ooh I like that one. I like that one. Okay, does that have adhesive on the back? No, it doesn't. Okay, so, and as I talk, I always like to, oh, and by the way, you guys, I just so you know, those of you that have already put, filled out the chat, I did get a new Tiffany bat, uh, pop-up so I can fix my whole situation here of my colors. So there's my orange. So all, just those of you that are new, all of my scraps that have the adhesive on the back, I save these in a special spot. They're all organized by color. Can you do two on that? I don't know if it'll work. Yeah, it might, it might be too high. I can bring it down. Yeah. Okay, so on these, I have, oops, what a mess that looks like. I have all the pink and I have red. So all the scraps, gold, black, all of the scraps are in here. So this one's brown, so we're gonna go near the back because that's gonna be in the back. Add that right there. Ooh, I found a pink in the wrong spot. So we're gonna put pink in there. Notice, you can tell I use pink the most because I have the most in my pink. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, so we are organizing this. My regular scraps, because I get this question a lot, my regular scraps are right here in my lowest tote all organized by, whoops, I'm, I'm getting the wrong, there we go, all organized by color. So I have pinks and purples together, I have uh, neutrals over here, I have blue and green together, yellow and orange together. So if I need a green, boom, I can grab some green, right? I used to, of course, keep these in a big tub, but they were all layers and I had to dig through the tub. Now it's all organized by color, so I just grab the color I want and it's ready to go. So and that's using the vinyl rolls on the um, vinyl rolls in the lowest bag. We no longer sell it in pink though, so. Okay. Uh, ooh, my mic fell. Okay, Kenny, can you yell out some of the answers? Yes, um, let's see. But first, Jesus, you are so loved. That's kind of getting long, right? If you are so loved? No, that's nope, okay. I'll make it from nope. all of us. Trust in Jesus, make it great. Hey there with exclamation points. Uh, I think it's hey honey and cutie pie. Ooh, cute. Uh, let's take a walk. Uh, blah, blah, love ya. Surprise. Say what? With the question mark. Oh, that's awesome. Are you serious? Um, have Oops. a bright, beautiful day. That one might be too long. That might be. But we'll <laughs> that's try. pushing the limits, right? Well, maybe. To the moon and back. Love you more. You are so loved. Totally awesome. Good job. Sunny days ahead. A lot of good ones. Look at this. This is a mess of necklaces I'm trying to organize that I have on my desk. Why do I have them on my desk? I don't know. Okay, keep going, Ken. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Puppy love. Miss you. Penny for your thoughts. Mm -hmm. From my house to yours. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, you said Brett for sleep, right? Love the fur babies. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Um, you are so loved. Um, doo -doo -doo, God is good. Um, 
I don't know what this one means. Bushels and a peck. Do you know what that yes, means? Yes, bushels and a peck. It's a, it's a, it's a saying. Okay. I love you, bushels and a peck. I think, or something like that. To your pet from mine. Oh, oh that's cute. <laughs> oh. Okay, I gotta figure out my winners. Yeah, you gotta so. pick some winners here. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to, you know, always put things back as I go, and I'm just realizing that I don't have, I can't find where my brushes are. My ink brushes. Now you lost your brushes? Yeah. That's but probably it, with the burlap. Yeah, shut up. Are they... Because see, this is what happens when I come in here and craft for a while, and then I have to actually work. Oh, here they are. Here they are. I knew they were nearby. Okay, so just for fun, because this is just my life. Where'd it go? Oh, so I'm working on the, um, the, the farm um, goodie bags, right? And we have these, and so here's a... Here's um, a sneak peek, but this is this is the prototype die. This is a different barn than what's on the website. It's a prototype. I'm changing it because um, I want it flipped so it's more different than the other one. And uh, there's a couple little errors on it that I need to fix. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hole punch it here, hole punch it here, and tie it with red ribbon. Tie it with red ribbon so it will be on the cow bag. Isn't that cute? And then. They are getting animals as part of their goodie bag and they're getting farm animals. So <laughs> I love these. I found them on Amazon. I can put them in the link section, but um, they all have a mommy and a baby. So there's like a pig one, there's a sheep one, there's a rooster and a hen and chicken chicks. There's a cow one. And then, so each kid's gonna get like four little animal sets. And then we have stickers and stickers and rubber, uh, fake little rubber stamps to give them to. But that is gonna be the goodie bag. So, still working on all of this. Very behind, very behind. Meanwhile, I'm gonna play with my necklaces. Okay, so um, Ken is finding some winners. Um, let's see, Quilty, that's a beautiful saying, but it's too long for um, uh, dies, but it would make a good stamp. So we will, um, Jesus is always listening. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I love that. Um, so Katie is going to um, compile all of these and give them to me so I can, whenever I have like, hmm, what should I do? Because I have this space here, then I will have some of your ideas, which I'm excited about. Okay, so Kenny, do you have your winners? Almost. I've got okay. one more. To so we're almost here. out of time. So if you have a question that um, Faileen wasn't able to answer, now is a good one, a good time to ask because um, we have to head out because my husband made dinner reservations. I asked him, I said, dinner reservations? First of all, we never go anywhere fancy enough that you need dinner reservations. But I said, dinner reservations? I said, are you gonna propose to me tonight or something? So, I don't know, something special's happening. <laughs> Ken's laughing. <laughs> You're gonna be in for a surprise. Keep in mind, keep in mind, he, earlier today we're thing. working, because our computer, our, we face the wall, and um, we sit like three feet away from each other, and he goes, so, what are we doing for my birthday? Or how'd you say it, what'd you say? No, I said, thanks for making that banner for my birthday. Oh, Stephanie. he was teasing me, because he thought this banner was for his birthday, because his birthday is March 5th. Okay, ready? Okay, yes. Our winners, now, our first winner is from YouTube, but I forgot her guess because you made me start reading them all out, and so I lost. But she's still a winner. She's still a winner. It's Paulette Hanstein. Paulette Hanstein. Yes, she's a winner from YouTube, and fill in the blank, that's what she said. Okay, fill in the blank. <laughs> but Paulette, you're a winner. And then also from YouTube is Miss Whitlock. She said, my darling. My with darling. just an apostrophe at the end, not a G. Like a darling. Oh, darling, my darling. Got okay, got it, and got it, got it. And also, our last winner from Facebook is Linda Scott. She said, "Jump start." Jump start. Interesting. So Interesting. three winners. Way to go, everyone. Okay, so uh, have I ever made a never-ending card? I have not, Mandy. Good question, but I have not. Um, Vicky says her best friend's birthday is March fifth. Yay. So those of you that won, those of you that won, you are going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life .com and she will get that gift, co gift code out to you probably tomorrow. 
probably tomorrow. Carol says, Stephanie, lay your yeah, necklaces on a that. flat surface and use two pins to untangle them. But Carol, it's mm -hmm. so much more fun to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that would like take like patience, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, um, okay, everybody's saying congratulations. You guys are so nice. Yes, oh, see, I got one done already. Look, Carol, I can, my way kind of works. Your way would be better. Um, Question. Uh, Gloria says, when will the new size alphabet come out on the website? Uh, this new one from the birthday. Uh, we did approve the prototypes. Uh, I don't know when. The problem is, is it's going to be very expensive. So I'm going to have to do like a special price on it because it's going to be so expensive. Um, and what we'll do on, oh, I got another one, Carol. <laughs> what we'll do on it is probably keep it at a special price. And I'm gonna do the numbers and the punctuation separate to keep the price down. That way, if you only want the alphabet, boom, cheaper. If you want the numbers only, boom, you can get it cheaper. So maybe do, do a bundle an update on too. this one? Um, hey, bunny die. Uh, what it's I don't going understand out the question. In this, it's going out in which one? This upcoming shipment will be a month early. Remember we're oh, for so April? it was supposed to come out April first, <laughs> which the ir irony of that rush. is would have been perfect. But Ken was actually I actually um, got them here earlier, so you were getting the hey my I'm sorry, my die hard club members are getting the hey bunny die free in their March 1st set, Die Hard set. So um, you have to be in the Die Hard last month and this month to get that freebie. So Ken and I managed to, I don't know how you managed to get it in there earlier because like that was Easter crazy. Easter miracle. It is an Easter miracle, <laughs> let me tell you. Well, like uh, you got that Easter basket so fast too. I, was I know, that Easter basket that I got really, well, I paid extra to get it here okay. faster. But don't Money tell anybody. makes things happen, right? Well, sadly. <laughs> okay, so I think that's about it, you guys. Um, Carol's all proud of me. I know. I almost have. I think there's just one more. One more, and it's my cross one, so I really need to do it. It was so cute. I was wearing one of my cross necklaces last night when I saw the babies, and um, they were kind of upset I wasn't wearing the heart one that has their pictures in it. But um, one of them, I think it was uh, Miller. He goes, "That's your Jesus necklace." That was so sweet that he said that because Kenny, because I was wearing the cross. Isn't that yep. sweet? Yeah. Carol! <laughs> we got your message. No, look at this. Oh. No, Carol. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. One <laughs> oh, did it. All four. What? And an earring. All four. Got them all done. Okay, you guys. I'm nuts. Okay, um, my friends. Thank you so much. Thank you for a wonderful evening. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Um, I always enjoy all these. Don't forget, always cut out the extra piece on the inside. Save it. Um, make sure you tune in tomorrow. Same tomorrow. time, same place. Same time, place, everything. Five o'clock tomorrow. We're going to do a live release. It's not a special release, but it's a live release for the 25th. Everything will be available on the website. I'm gonna show it off, I'm gonna demo it, we're gonna do more chat contests, and I think that's it. So I am gonna go get some dinner. But I will see you tomorrow night, five o'clock Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Have a wonderful night, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>